sigma relationship dynamics. The desire for sigmas to have autonomy creates some very difficult challenges relating to other people in romantic or marital terms because you could see how it would be very difficult to even have a partnership where one person is autonomous or even both people are autonomous. So, we've already talked about a sigma and alpha combination where there's a mutual attraction based on each other's drive and responsibility and accomplishment that might create a sense of spark or attraction. But the alpha's desire for authority is going to find itself in stark contrast with the sigma's desire for autonomy. And the alpha's desire to treat that as a maybe like a challenger beta who is a challenge to conquer probably will not be successful. Secondly, we've observed that between a sigma and a beta there may not be any point of commonality except that especially when young there could be a case of mistaken identity as was in my former marital situation that I seemed very alpha and she seemed very let's say beta omega or beta sigma and in reality I am a sigma alpha and she's a collectivist beta and we were not going to succeed at making the other one into the thing that we wanted. The sigma sigma has an interesting potentiality to it because even though usually you would say that well alpha alpha creates this problem because you have two people who want to beta and the other one isn't it. They both want to lead, both want the other one to follow creating a big opening for a potential seductive beta to enter the equation and disrupt. Likewise, although the opposite direction, with two betas, you might have the situation wherein they both say, we don't need alphas in our life. We don't need, I don't need an alpha, you don't need an alpha. And yet if the core needs hypothesis is correct, they're both susceptible to an alpha who presents himself in a certain way that claims to have the capacity to meet their unmet needs. However, the sigma is unresponsive to both an alpha saying, let me lead you, and a beta saying, let me follow you. And so that the only person that could give that sigma autonomy and receive autonomy in return would hypothetically be another sigma, but I say to you, what, ki I, I, what kind of relationship would that be if both people are totally autonomous? If both people, certainly you would not be able to define the relationship in clear alpha and beta terms. Clearly it would have to be individually negotiated separate from any sort of existing societal template. Now, yes, you could apply a biblical template, but probably not a standard societal template because while you can say a lot of alphas are similar in what they want, a lot of betas are similar in what they want, you can't say a lot of sigmas are similar in what they want because while autonomy is a shared desire, they want to plug that autonomy in the direction of specific goals that will not make any sense to an alpha or to a beta. They don't create at least standard traditional accomplishment and authority and respect, and they don't create at least standard and traditional uh, safety or security, because those are not the key sigma values. So that a two-sigma relationship 
is going to hypothetically be very different than an alpha-beta relationship or an alpha-alpha relationship or even a beta-beta relationship. It is going to be probably hard to even compare two sigma-sigma relationships to each other because their uniqueness will be so prevalent. Finally, sigma omega exists as a possibility. But will the sigma find the omega interesting enough to put up with their freedom? You see, in a sense, autonomy and freedom sound similar. But the autonomy of a sigma is hard, what, hard fought through resolve, through self-discipline, through being willing to give up things. Whereas self-discipline is not an omega term. Um, there will be no sacrifice to achieve goals. It may be that uh, omegas don't have goals. Omegas, I think, generally will say yes to almost anyone that says they want a relationship. A sigma, I think, in response, will say no to almost anyone who wants a relationship that creates control or obligation upon that sigma. Please like and subscribe.